And by the way, I'm leaving to, to Italy next week, to Rimini. There is a very big uh, training expo. I'm going to be lecturing there uh, on Friday at 9 a.m. And then I'm going to leave to Cyprus uh, end of the month as well. So probably we'll continue in June with more robotic subjects, you know, a bit more EA trading, a bit more numerical, more my stuff. I mean, I, mean, I like developing systems. That's, that's, of course, very, very needed when you trade. But in EA trading, robotic trading, there's much, 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 much more to it. It's, only, it's not only about the rules of the system. It's about the optimization, the combination. There's so, so many subjects, so many aspects to it. Okay, I'm going to start. My name is Pablo Ortiz. I'm from Spain. Uh, I have been trading over the last seven years and always with robots. I studied mathematical physics in Germany. And, well, I ran very early into EAs and... Yes, you cannot trade the way they come from the factory. You need to make them your own. You need to adjust the parameters. You need to learn a lot about it. It's probably much more complicated than manual training. So if you have the idea, you just buy a robot or take a robot and trade it, that's a wrong idea. Okay, It's not going to make you profitable at all. Okay, It's very rare that you find an EA with good parameters. Normally, they come very badly optimized. Okay, so today is the last one in the series, and we're going to take the classical trend system with three moving averages. Probably it's going to be the most boring <laughs> trading system of all four that I was lecturing in the last two weeks. But you should know it. You should know how you could trade the trend in a very classical, very simple way. And you should know these rules. I mean, it's part of your education. Something that the trader should always know how to trade the basic, most basic of the basics ways to trade a trend. And trending is only happening 20% of the time. So you should not only trade trend systems. As I said, you should always combine a trend system with a scalper. And this scalper we saw yesterday, I give you the rules. And you should always trade at least two trading systems together, okay? You should never trade just one trading system, whether you are a manual trader or an automated trader. As a matter of fact, we trade 11 systems together at least, okay, in our accounts. We never trade two systems, not even four. I say always that if you want to be a professional soccer player, you have to have a team of 11. I mean, you can play soccer with four players, right? in your backyard, but if you want to be a professional, you need 11 players, at least. And this I'm going to explain, hopefully, in June, and I'm going to give you parts of uh, my trading method. So, very quickly, who is new? I really, I really need to know this, because I can do the next slides very quick or very slow, and I need to know who is new, who is not. I don't recognize all of the names. I recognize some people here, but... I need to know who is new. If there is nobody saying he's new, I just skip the slides. So please help me on that. Just put new in the chat. You never came to my lectures, to my, to my webinars. Just put new, and then I know you're new. Much involvement today, guys. What's happening? Probably lunchtime, something. Or dinner time, who knows <laughs> where you're sitting now. Okay, so a training system must have at least three aspects. It must be univocal. That means that the rules have only one way to be understood, one understanding, one way, one definition. Uh, they, are it must, they must be exactly replicable. That means that if you have a trading system, everybody is going to make the same entries and everybody is going to make the same exits in the, the exact same tick. Okay. I hope you guys know what, what is a tick. And uh, the rules must be closed. It, they have no space for interpretation. Okay, That's very, very important. So a trading system should have at least three legs out of six. And that's why we were doing these lectures. So we give examples of entry rules, exit rules, filters, which are very different. So you get uh, a taste 
of what trading systems should be like. Okay. Uh, these systems, we have generally programmed them. I have today to show you the false breakout system of uh, two days ago, the results of the back test. I have it here for you. And we generally optimize them and improve them uh, with parameters and sometimes with additional little changes in the rules. Okay. So the trading systems I'm giving you are tested. That's very, very important. So entry rules, exit rules, filters, position management, money management, and risk management. Let's go very quick over this because nobody's new in the room, so I can go very fast. Entry rules. An entry rule is always combined of two parts. We need to have a setup. And this is, this is very particularly important in a trade trending system. Setup is that we have the right conditions. We are aware, we are conscious that we really have a trend. We need to watch first, are we trending? And I will give you a very precise definition of what is trending. Because people say, well, when maximums go up or minimum goes down, go down, uh, then we have a then we have a downtrend. But that's not a very precise de definition. That's not univocal and that's not replicable but but by a third party. So this definition of trending serves nothing. Okay? So I'm gonna give you a very precise definition of trending. I could give you at least 30 different types of definition of training, and we're going to choose today's definition of training. And in the entry rules, it's always a conditions that are and, condition number one and condition number two, at least two of them. The setup, that means are we in a training market, and confirmation, boom, fire. After that, we have the exit rules. The exit rules, uh, the minimum for a system to be a system or to be called a system, I know many people uh, that do manual trading say they have a trading system, but they don't. They have a strategy or they have a crystal ball and they, they, they call their crystal ball a strategy or system because it sounds better, but it's not a system. For it to be a system, you must have at least one exit rule and that is a stop loss. You can have dynamical or fixed stop losses. Fixed stop loss is a certain amount of pips, for, for example, or whatever, if you're on the DAX of points, if you are in an, in, in, in the, on the S&P, Dow Jones, whatever, it's points. And dynamical stop losses are based on a formula, or they are not fixed, meaning that sometimes it's here, the stop loss, and sometimes it's there. But that is not a trailing stop. It's just once, and it, it stays there once you put it, okay, with the formula. The most classical dynamical stop loss is by ATR. ATR. ATR is a measurement of the volatility of the last candles, how much the price moved, and you can have, for example, a stop loss two times the ATR. So if on average the price moved 30 pips on the last 14 candles, you could put your stop loss to ATR means I would put the stop loss at 60 pips. If there's more volatility and you had 40 pips, you could put the stop loss at 80 pips. That's how a dynamic stop loss works. There's other ways of exit the trades, but I would recommend that you watch the other videos. I explain them more in detail. Filter. A filter is something additional. This is very, very important. It's something you put on top of the system. Once the system is working the core, which means the entry and the exit, that would be the core of the system, then you check for improvements, and the first improvement you would look at is a filter, something that takes bad trades out and leaves the good trades in the, in the, in the, in the trading system. Okay, it has to do with the risk-reward ratio. What we are looking for is to improve our edge. That means it's the percentage you are above the water with the trading system. I will not go, to, go into detail, but we have a very precise definition of this edge. Now trading method. Position management is like number four of a trading system. What we look at is that you are once you are already in the market, you cannot call the broker and say, listen, uh, the trade is wrong. Can you raise it? You know, <laughs> it doesn't work like that. So you need to do something with this trade. And there is three ways to handle this. First one, you can re-enter the trade. That means if you make a buy, you can re-buy again on a lower level. Uh, you can make a partial close. You can say, okay, I was wrong. 
let me exit with half of the lot size, or uh, you can use a trailing stop. You can just move the stop loss uh, by step by step based on diverse formulas or different ways of moving the trailing stops. There is a lot of different trailing stops around there. So you could combine all three. That would be very smart, actually. If you could make a partial clause, close, you could use the trailing stop. And that's what we're going to do today. We are going to watch into how to improve our trend system by position management, which is very, very important when you want to improve the statistics of a trading system. OK. Money management. Money management uh, deals with the question how much, how many lots and when. And the usual is they tell you, OK, when you're going down and you're in the drawdown, you should reduce your lot size. And when you're up, you should increase the lot size. I don't agree fully with the, those statements. And we use the money management in a much more smarter way, I would say, depending on how the system is performing. I would lot the systems differently. I would give the winners more lots. And I would give, because I trade at least 11 systems, right, on the same account. I would trade like a soccer team, and I will explain this hopefully in June, how we build the teams, because we need to have uh, defendants, we need to have uh, players who are attacking, like Messi uh, or Ronaldo. I think you know this soccer. Are you into soccer, guys? I mean, you, you're not writing much today. I don't know if you're in the room or just recording. <laughs> Okay, so basically we need to build systems, trading uh, teams, okay, trading system teams. And I would say the, the trend systems would be the goalkeepers, okay. So we have an idea what we are talking about here. And we can have in, 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 trend, in trading more than one goalkeeper. In soccer you shouldn't have more than one goalkeeper, okay. Risk management has to do with the... Uh, a, it's it's a it's a sub leg of the money management, and it deals a, basically with the risk side, with the downside of money management. And you should know or keep a hundred percent rules uh, when you pass twenty three percent drawdown or you come close to thirty percent drawdown. You should be completely out of out of the game. You are it's, it's the time to close the account before the account closes you down. <laughs> Uh, you shouldn't pass a losing streak of consecutive losses above 15%, and you shouldn't risk more than 2% per position, and you shouldn't risk, on average, more than 1%. One thing is the maximal risk per position, and another thing is the average risk per position. Okay, We can talk about it also today, and you'll see the difference. Okay, so that's clear now. This very quick explanation. Is that clear? So we have six legs, and we're going to try to have a robust system to have at least three out of six legs. That clear? I don't know if that's clear or not. <laughs> so, <laughs> a lot of <laughs> a lot of activity here in the chat. Okay, very good. <laughs> Two people. Okay, so we are going to go now into the specific system, the family, the trend uh, system. Family is the first thing that the trader le learns because it's the easiest way of trading. And let me tell you that it's not a very, very, very robust way of trading. Trends happen only 20% of the time, and that's the average. There's years, like 2012, in Forex, where you wouldn't see a trend uh, very frequently. You wouldn't. So it wouldn't be a very good year to do trending. And many people still would trade it because they have no other choice. They only know one or two trend systems, and... They trade it, and they lose money. So you need to know that trend systems have a lot of flaws. And the first one is that we are always late. 
in a trend system, you never catch the train, the trend at the beginning, because for it to be a trend, it must be confirmed. So you will be always late. So the entry is not so important. It doesn't matter where you enter the trade in a trend system so much. What matters really is the exit. And this has to do with, with your risk-reward ratio. We're going to see it now. So the risk-reward ratio in a trend system is very, very crucial. A trend system that looks good can be very bad, depending on the risk-reward ratio. And a system that looks bad sometimes can be very, very good in trending. So you should never trade trending alone. That's very, very, very risky, especially if the markets are not trending. Now we have trending markets in the euro dollar, which is the main cross in the forex market. So it should be easy now to trade the trends, right? But we don't know how long it's going to stay, right? So the fact that it's trending now, it doesn't mean that it's going to be trending tomorrow. And so you should have a very good money management in trend systems. Normally they tell you this BS that the trend is your friend, but it's not. The trend is the friend of the market maker. They want you to be longer in the market. The trend is the friend of the commissioner. They want you to be very long in the market, so they charge you swaps or whatever commissions. If you're making stocks, it's very good. You're very long in the trend because they will get more money from you. So it's not always your best friend, the trend. You should know this, okay? Uh, but after all, you have to tra trade it. I mean, it's, it's part of life. You need to be doing this type of trading. Uh, some people don't like it. It's too, too slow. Uh, but it's not a matter, a matter of liking or not. Trends should be always traded. So... Here are the entry rules of the system, and let's have a look. As usual, uh, I'll, I'll give you the template after. Below, I have, the, I have the false breakout system, just to close this, because the other day I didn't show you. And I don't have the trend system here. But this was the other lecture. You remember, we did the robot, and we finally started optimizing. I put it on the euro pound. It's working quite well. It still could be improved, but it's profitable. I did a back test of a lot of years, and it's it's profitable. That's the only thing I wanted to show you about the other day. So I'm going to close this part of the account now, and we're going to concentrate on our on our trend system, right? So we have here the setup. The setup is three moving averages, as I said, and a MACD. The moving averages, we use colors always. We have the first one, the orange one. It's a moving average of five periods. Then the clear blue one, we use always clear colors for the short ones, darker colors or colder colors for the long ones. So we always know the coldest color is the longest one. And that way you never, you don't need to go back and see, oh, which one was the short moving average? It's the hot color, okay? Emma, exponential moving average. Anyway, if you want the template, you will get it. So, 5, 15, and 60. Okay? So, we are, we are looking for a very precise setup, which is the following. I'm going to go back to the slide. We need to have the Emma, the two longer ones, pointing up. I'm telling now... The setup for buying, you just need to reverse the rules to get the setup for selling. When you say on buying, they should be looking up. When you talk about selling, they should be looking down. When they are in a certain order, when it's uh, buying, then it should be in the opposite order when it's selling. Just uh, whatever the rule is, just do the opposite, okay, for selling. I didn't want to put both, but it's obvious. I mean, for me, it's obvious. So. So let's make it simple. Okay, so these two, they must be pointing up. So here, it's not much pointing up. Here, both are pointing up. And here, even more, you see? They must be pointing up. What is pointing up? Everything which is a, a, a degree above zero degrees, okay? The more they point up, the higher the upper trend, you see? Here, they are more pointing up. But whatever, the, the rule is very, it's just only that they must be pointing up. So here we would have it. These two are pointing up. Okay, first condition, you see? So it's one condition plus the second condition plus the third condition plus the fourth condition. 
and then we're going to improve the training the, tra the trading system okay so first 60 and uh, 15 videos recorded so don't worry about it you'll have it tomorrow and you can watch it as many times as you want you'll have the slides everything i mean you'll have the video with the slides okay then we need um, that they, they, they need to be ordered that means that emma of five should be above the emma of 15 and the emma of 15 should be above the emma of 60. let's check if that's the case here emma 5 is above 15 yes true emma 15 is above of 60 only after here okay it just crossed it just started here they are both pointing up okay we have the three conditions let's check condition number four Condition number four is the MACD, which is below, it's oscillating below, it's an oscillator. It's above zero, okay, for buying, okay? So let's check here, the MACD is above zero, and here you see the MACD was below zero. So it just started here, the MACD is above zero. Okay, so we would have basically all four rules happening here. It's a normal MACD, yeah, normal MACD, the usual one. Let's check it again. Yeah, 12.26.9. You can see it here. I don't know if you see my mouse. Okay, perfect. So it's very simple. This is the most basic trend system of the world. Still profitable. Okay, sometimes simple things, they work very well. You know, people want to complicate things, but I'm going to make the system better afterwards. I do it always in these webinars. Okay, the, the exit rolls. So we would have basically here an entrance, more or less. I would always that it, it goes back uh, the price, the opening. This is an additional rule that I will give you in the next slide, okay? But I already tell you, I, I, I only look opening candles where on euro dollar each one, okay? I look that the opening is exactly on the MA5. A little bit of a pullback, you see it here? And later on, we'll make it completely a pullback system. But you could all, by the first rules I gave you, you could already enter here, you see? But I'm, I'm waiting that the price opens exactly on the, on, the, on the moving average, which is on this candle, you see this? On this one as well, but this, one, the this was the first one that got hit, okay? So I would be entering at the opening of the candle every hour, I'm watching the candles. Because it's an opening, I would put it in gray. Okay, and I would put it here also in gray. And it's the opening of the trade. Okay, let's use this conventions. Oh, it stayed on red. <laughs> it has its own life. You know, MetaTrader sometimes has life of, of its own. Okay, I hope you see that well. Okay, that's the entry point. Um, I just waited two more candles, so it would hit, exactly it would open on the moving average, you know, the candle. Okay, but you could open here. I tell you, the entrance is not so important in the, in the trend systems. And now we put a stop loss of 40 points, sometimes even less. Let's leave it at 40. This, when you robotize it, of course, you need to optimize it. And you sometimes can go as low as 25 pips, just so you know, okay? So 40 pips is more or less here. I'm going to put it in red. Don't trade without stop loss, okay? This we already said, otherwise it's not a, trending, uh, a trading system. It's a bit lower, more or less here, okay? Okay, so this is the first exit roll, okay? And how are we going to exit otherwise? Well, what we're going to do is when the trade is already 40 pips in the profit, it goes, when the market is trending, it will always, I would say, majority of the times, like now the euro dollar is very trendy, you would see that there's a lot of condition, of, of possibilities, and many, many times it will, it will really be, a, it will really be going in the right direction, you know? Like this, they, you can watch the last months and you will see a lot of profitable trades. So when it's at 40, you see it's at 40, two hours later already, two and a half hours later, more or less. You see that, right? Two candles later, three hours later, to be precise. Okay, uh, we're already at 40. What we do is we close half of the trade. 
Let's say, for instance, we entered here with one lot. It depends, of course, of your risk. So one lot is a lot. So probably with 40 points in a $10,000 account would be something more in the direction of 0 0.2, 0 0.3 lots. You need to calculate it depending on the pip value. But you, you should never risk on these 40 pips more than 2% of your account. That's clear on slide number six, right? I hope it's clear. If not, you're going to repeat the course forever. <laughs> okay. Well, the market is going to make you repeat the course forever. Okay, so here's 40 pips, right? Uh, you exit half of the trade, okay? And you move the stop loss to break even of the other half, right? You move it to break even. So the worst that can happen is that you earn 40 pips on half of the trade, and if it retraces, and that's not what happened. And you wait for the next 40 pips, 80, which it doesn't, did yeah, it hit? Well, no, it didn't. Yeah, it did. Okay. <laughs> In the same candle. We're lucky. Okay, so we hit when we hit 80, what we can do is either close option number one or wow, I move the entry. The entry stays, right? Or we move the stop loss to 40. And we keep doing this game. You see it doesn't hit. And then we wait for 120, right? You got my point, I hope. 40, 80, 100. Twenty is basically like a very simple trailing stop. Okay? And we would move this to 80. I give you both options here for exiting. That, that's very, 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 very uh, simple. It, it doesn't work very well, the ML15 for trailing. It's not a very good. If you want a trailing, you need to displace and get a simple moving, a, no, a linear weighted moving average. But we'll watch the next slide because we're going to improve. So is the basic system clear? What, what you do is you, you have fixed fixed ones. Uh, what we do, uh, Carlos, is we, uh, we automate it. We have an, uh, an external variable, and it depends completely on the per. So, for example, on the euro pound, you, you will find a stop loss on 28 pips because you optimize it, right? Uh, as I tell you, this is uh, the transition, these webinars, from manual to automated, okay? But if you do manual, I would say always 40 pips on the euro dollar, or 35, okay, and just keep it fixed, okay, because if we start moving the stop losses, we, we will not have a consistent system, you know. If you are lucky enough and you find a programmer, because this shouldn't be more than 40, 50 euros to program, actually. So simple, it's, it's one evening of programming, you can optimize it, and we will lecture in, in June about optimization, okay. Okay, so... I want to know if the rules are clear, because I'm, I'm going to go now to the improvements of the system. We can improve it quite, quite a lot still. This is the basic setup of the system, and I want to make it even better. OK, is it clear? Only one person, two people said it's clear. So I, I suspect that all other understood it. <laughs> OK, so what we will do now is we will not enter at the first signal. That's what people usually do. They see, oh, the moving average just crossed. Now we have a, a, an uptrending setup. It's really changed, and it's an uptrend, and it's not. It can be just reversing temporarily. And it's not yet an uptrend. So we will never enter on the first signal. We'll wait for the pullback. How does it work? Now the system is going to get really, really much better. I'm going to show you here. I'm going to go down here. OK. And we see here that we started to get here a setup for selling. OK, the euro dollar reversed. I just went a bit further on the 7th of April. I'm still in last month. And it reversed, you see. And we have here a very clear setup of a, when it starts opening here, 
right? It opens on the first moving average, the orange one would have here a cell set up, okay? And it's all in order, and the moving and the MACD is below zero, everything's fine, but we don't do this. We wait till the candles make the full pullback. That means they must touch, they must touch the a long moving average, which is the blue one. They must, they must go back as far as the moving average of 60. So now we converted the trend system into a pullback system, and the, the percentage of winners, the number of trades that will be winning will have less trades, okay? But these trades will be much more secure. What are we earning here? We're really working on the risk-reward ratio. And this many people don't really understand it because they are so obsessed with the rules of systems, but they don't understand the mathematics of trading. That's actually what I'm going to be lecturing in Italy. And the mathematics of trading are very simple. If I have a one-to-one -one system, I must be at least 50% of the trades must be earning, must be profitable. If I have a two-to-one system, whereby on the left it's always the earnings, okay, I must be 33% of the times right. And I could be trading the other side of the coin. I could be trading one to two, more scalping style. I just only need to be above 66% of the times right. Okay? Do you follow me? This is what I call the multiplication table of the trader. And many people don't know it. You should really learn it by heart. So what we're doing here is we are improving the risk-reward ratio. We are going from probably a two-to-one system because we're earning 80 pips against 40 pips risk, right? We are going probably going in the direction three to one, four to one. Because we now, if we have a pullback, we can put the stop loss much closer. You understand the point? We don't need the stop loss to be at 40 pips. We can really work off on 30 pips, even 25 pips. Okay? And we can go for longer rewards or the same rewards. So the ratio will become much better. And if we were earning, let's say, if we would have, let's say, for instance, 40% of winning trades, okay? Winner's percentage, I call it, okay? 40% of the trades are winning. Before, we were only 7% above the water. You see this? Before, we were only 7%. Is the difference, okay? Only 7% of the trades are really giving us money, whilst now we are 15% above the water, only because we waited for the pullback. So the trading system, the profit factor, the curve, the balance curve, and everything about the trading system will become much more robust. Did you get this explanation? Because it's very, very important to understand that, of course, we could enter here, but if we wait for it to touch, and it's to touch the rule, not to be close, to touch, the 65 moving average, which is on this candle, right? The moment of touching, the problem is now that it's not anymore an hourly system, okay? Or we could wait for the next hour, it doesn't matter. Then you can see here, we'll put now the stop was much closer, 30, as I said. And you say, well, it's only 10 pips. Well, it's not only 10 pips, it's the, it's the ratio, okay? You put it closer. Well, <laughs> I don't hate it, more or less here. Okay, then we can expect here very quickly it, got, it goes into profitability. We already have the ratio in our favor. That means if we wait for 40 now, but the stop loss was 30, it's not anymore one to one on the first impulse. It's already 1.3 to 1. You understand? 40 to 30. And the system improves a lot. So we would have 40. We would go in this trade already in, in the entry point. Okay, we wait for the next ones. And we close half, right? 80. And it goes oh, almost 120. Okay. So you see that the system improves a lot. Let's look for another point. We don't enter here. This, in this case, would be a false entry, right? 
And it doesn't matter, you have your stop losses. Okay, this is a good entry again. You see that? I'm just going very fast. And I, you saw here a false entry. We lose one, but we have basically a 2.5 to 3 to 1 system. Okay, we are trading in this arena. Now, if we're waiting for the pullback, we probably are waiting in, in we're trading this kind of system, 2.5 to 1, which would be only the middle of this is 8, so it would be 29% of winning trades we need. And we are probably on a 35, 40% of winning trades. And many, many times we'll be in 3 to 1 with this trading system. Only by this little change that we're waiting for it to hit the moving average, the long one, you see? This is a very good entry. Goes a bit against 17 points, but not 30. 40 is hit very quickly. There you go. And 80 also very quickly. It's very trending now. It's, it's tricky. It's very easy to show this. And people say, wow, but watch 2012, guys. You know, you will not find many good entrance, entries. 160. It's a very good trade, this one. Only we waited for the pullback, you see. And in this case, we are not waiting that, we are not expecting that the moving averages are in order. We wait in the setup that they are in order, right? Orange above gray and gray above blue, or the opposite, right? Blue above gray and gray above orange if you're selling. But once you have the setup, you're waiting for the pullback, right? And you don't care anymore about the original setup. This is very important because many people say, hey, but orange is not, yeah, yeah, it was only at the setup. Now we're in the pullback, we're confirming. It's a, it's a different thing, okay? So this is the point number two of the slide. This is the point number two, okay? You could do, a, on point number three, the, the, the light version of this, okay? which I can show you, which has to do with the MACD. I don't want it to complicate it too much. Actually, I'm not going to explain this part because I'm going to complicate it too much. And I think there's a lot of newbies here today. I think you already have a lot of rules. And I'm not going to explain that you wait for the MACD to be a bit lower because it's something in between, between hitting the first moving average, the orange, and hitting the long moving average, the average, the blue one. Okay. But it's quite a neat system. I mean, really, try it. It's on our candles. You could trade it on H4. You could trade it on daily, but you need to take into account that if you're trading it on longer candles, you need to probably work on your stop loss. And my recommendation is to trade it on H1. If you want to know the purse, euro dollar, pound dollar, for sure, the cable. And I would say it trades on a lot of purse. You just need to try it. You can get the template for free, as usual. Please, guys, when you ask for the template, please put all your data, because we're writing back everybody, you know, just with your name, last name, country of residence, your Skype. It's very important. How are we going to reach you if we, we don't have your Skype? Your cell phone and how many years in trading? If you want the EA for free, the EA, sorry, the template for free, just uh, write to this email. Okay, you'll get it for free. Exactly with the same colors as we explained, and but please pull put all this data, so the people in my office, they they don't need to write you back constantly, so you get the template. And if you already put the data, then doesn't matter. Then you can ask for the template. Just say your name and, and last name, and and we'll forward it to you. Okay. So, any questions, guys? You want we can go to the pound and we can check it. You see that if we were, are waiting it for to hit the 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 blue, we have less entries than before. And of course, there's false signals. You know, sometimes the candles play against us. In this case, thirty pips wouldn't make it. But the point is the 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 risk reward ratio. You you if you have this system in training, you don't need to be above fifty percent. It's enough to be forty percent of the times right. Sometimes thirty five percent of the times right. Okay, that's very important. If you want to put a, a George asked to put a 
a trailing stop, I would use the trailing stop of the day, system of day one, which is simply a moving average that would be linear weighted. That's very important. It works much better for trailing. I'm going to put it in this color and I'm going to put it probably like this. I'm going to shift it to the right, okay? So I'm more secure that the market doesn't take me out. Let's go to the original entry. And here it would work. You see the trailing stop? I don't know if this is original entry. No, it's not. I don't find the original entry anymore. <laughs> Let's see where it is. But basically, you could follow the line, the... the I don't, I don't think it's very good trailing stop. I would, I would rather work on a trailing stop with ATR, with volatility for this trading system. I don't think it's really a very good trailing stop. When you have a strong candle, which is highly, highly volatile, move the trailing stop faster than when the volatility is very low, don't hardly move it with a formula. This, this works much better sometimes in, in trend systems. But I don't want to complicate it too, too much. Okay, so let's forget about the trailing stop now. You just go on partial exits on 40 pips, right? 40 pips move to break even. Half go, go with 50% out, move to break even, the other half, and then you keep going up, right? In another a chunk of 40 pips, and you keep going up and up like this and taking... Uh, the trend little by little so that we so that we take the, the longer the longer trends but if you already got 80 points you are really on the other side uh, because 80 against 30 right and if you manage 120 even better then you will have this straight 4 to 1 right 120 against 30 is a 4 to 1 system and these very long trades of 120 pips Will 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 make the average very 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 high and and, and you'll be certainly above 2.5 to one, three to one. You'll be in this arena on average, and that's very very good. As long as you have some trades that go for the 120 pips, and don't don't be scared. Just put your stop loss 40, then 80, and you have a buffer of 40 pips always, right? That's for the euro dollar. I mean, if you're trading other pairs, probably it's not 40 pips, okay? You need to check it. Probably on the pound yen, it's going to be more because it's more volatile. So you need to check every pair. Okay, guys, so questions? Trending markets can be volatile and non-volatile. I just would keep the system rules very simple because uh, I wouldn't check into market regime or this kind of things. I would just do the system and just the, the, the little, uh, yeah, we'll wrap up in less than five minutes. Uh, uh, you need to check really, uh, just do the basic trade, trade, uh, trading rules and then do the little improvements after. I wouldn't put more filters or something. It wouldn't help much. The best filter is really to wait for the pullback, to wait for the blue line to be hit again. You want the slide again, Boyki? Which one? There's like 15 slides. So which number? Okay, <laughs> the last one. This one. Right? Or the last one with the rules. Okay, more questions? Yeah, yeah George, like in the system with the breakouts. But it's not very good for this trading system, uh, this trading stop. I wouldn't recommend it very much, really. Time frame, Carlos, I repeat again, H1, for sure. If you want to go down to M30, it wouldn't work that well. Uh, we already tried it. 
it's really an H1 system. You can make it work in H4, but the ratios will not be so good. In H1, it works very neat, actually. I wouldn't use it on the 15-minute time frame. No way. No way. Because the moving average is going to be totally messed up, uh, George. Use it on H1. Okay. It's a, I haven't tested it on M15. I have tested it on M30. And I already saw it was deteriorating. So I wouldn't go on M15. You know? But uh, H1 works very, very well, really. Especially the last days, now the euro dollar. Uh, the, the only problem with the system is when you get uh, false signals. It's, it's obviously happening, and when, you, when the market is a bit chaotic, going up and down and up and down, then you get hit by the stop losses, but that's part of the game, right? Then you have, again, just a few hours later, 12, 20 hours later, one day later, you have a, a very neat signal again, you see, and you recover in one trade, yeah, H1, definitely, definitely, yeah, yeah. They trade all the time, Boyki. My 11 players trade all the time. I have the, you need to understand the philosophy. I'm training the breakout system of the first day, I'm training the false breakout, I'm training the scalper and the trend system and other systems together. These are robots. I'm just only giving you the rules so you understand how a robot is done. You can look in in MQL forum, I'm going to show you now, and you can ask for a programmer, and it shouldn't be more than, I don't know, 50 bucks to get it automated, really. And you give him the rules, or just show him the video, and it shouldn't, shouldn't be really a, a big problem, you know. Just go to this page. This is the biggest community of MetaTrader, it's MQL forum, jobs. You see freelancers, and you put here your budget. It's like eBay, you see? And you put here your budget, you say, I offer you $50. And there's a lot of people all over the place, in Russia, Ukraine, Indonesia, programming for good money, very good programmers, you know, and they will do this for $50. I, I don't think it's more than $50 worth, you know? Or just do a package to all four systems. Then you need to optimize, of course. You need to have the parameters. No? It sounds better, expert advisors than robots. Okay, then expert advisors. Well, the only expert advisor is yourself, you know? <laughs> That's the truth. I mean, the, the real expert is the expert above the expert advisor, you know? But okay, yeah, it's called EAs. So here you can find coders. There's tons of them. And I'm going to put it in the chat. And it shouldn't be. It shouldn't be. <laughs> OK, guys, you already know each other. OK, if there is no more questions, we need to wrap it up. It's my last lecture in this month. Honorary member, Boyki. <laughs> yeah, Boyki. Where are you from, Boyki? You never answered my question. You talk a lot here in the chat. Where are you from, Boyki? Is there any programmer around? From which part from Africa? Africa is very big, you know? Okay, guys, we're going to be most, most certainly in London in July. And we're going to give a two day free seminar in the center of London. It's not 100% sure, but almost 95% sure. And we'll send you an email. Okay, you know where we are. This will be recorded. Are ah, you in South Africa? That's great. Okay, so come over to London. It's just a jump. Okay, guys, so thanks very much for attending these four lectures. It was really a pleasure. And I have like 900 of those. <laughs> so we could be doing training lab all over the year. But we're going to lecture other things probably in June. You know, I'm going to talk to the people in Netflix Street. And we're probably going to do some other type of lecturing, which is more numerical, more my stuff like I did today about the ratios. And thanks, Carlos. Thanks, Boyki, and all the rest, George, and all the people, Jenny, that participated. I probably miss a lot of names here Paul, Matthew. Yeah. And it was, it was a pleasure, really. And if you have the chance, really, to come over to London, it would be really great because it will be two days full time. 
and I'm going to explain to you the core of my method, which is much more than just simple trading rules. This was these were just examples, you know. Uh, there is much, much more on how to make them work together. Okay, to gold, London, well, it's 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 the center of the financial world. If you're trading, you need at least to come once to London, once in your life. Okay, it's like the mecca, the mecca of trading. You have to go once, at least, if not more. <laughs> you know, you've been there, okay? <laughs> That's great. Okay, guys, a pleasure, and I hope to see you back in June, okay? So I hope you just start trading this. Uh, be careful with the money management. Start on demo, okay? And follow the rules. Don't start changing them, okay? Cheers. Bye-bye, guys.